how can you add such balances after one month? So what I did, I'll show you my finished product here, is I did, I did balances over 30 days and balances over 60 days and then I totaled them. And so I'll just show you how I did it. So basically how I start this whole premise is up in here is I put today, which is equals today, opening bracket, closing bracket, and it will give you today's date. But tomorrow when you open it up, it'll say tomorrow's date. So then whether these invoices are over 30 days, it'll be accurate to the day that you're doing it on. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'll calculate 30. So we'll go equals and I'm going to do an if statement. And I'm going to go if this date plus 30, if it's less than this date, then what you're going to do is you are going to display this value here. And if not, another comma, we're going to display nothing. It's going to be blank. And so then I'm going to close that. And you're going to get 250. And what we're going to do when we look at this so we can drag it down is we're going to click on the I, um, I1 here. And we're going to press an F4 so we can absolutely reference it. Now press enter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the fill handle to fill it all the way down. And why don't I put those into um, currency here. Okay, so let's do this again. Um, let's go equals uh, and let's do it for 60 days. So we'll go equals and we'll go if we select this value and we go plus and we go 60 and if it's less than if it's less than um, today's date and let's F4 that last one so that it's absolutely referenced then we are going to um, display the value or else we are going to display a blank. So we'll just put double quotation marks here and we're going to close the bracket and we're going to press enter. And then once again, we're going to double click down this value.